The moment is here, you can stop your search. It's Comics by Perch. Hey everybody, this is Perch. Uh, well, uh, let's get right into a mail. Um, as you may know, I'm a big One Piece fan, and this person who wrote in is also a big One Piece fan and wants to talk about the new show. So uh, let's talk about it. I've seen it. And uh, let's let's kind of let's compare notes here. So um, viewer writes. Hey, Birch. I know you're a big One Piece fan. Yes, I said that. <laughs> I'm curious if you saw the abomination that is the Netflix One Piece woke adaptation. This show bears no resemblance to actual One Piece and seems to be there just to elevate the female character, but has none of the traits of the original. Luffy isn't hungry, Nami isn't a thief, etc., etc. Even Zoro's character was simped for a girl who was a better swordsman than him, who he can never beat because because she died. That's in the... All right, well, we'll get to it. Anyway, curious what you think. This show was much worse than I imagined it could be. Thanks for the show. All right. Well, thanks for the thanks, but I don't know if you're going to be all aligned with me. <laughs> hey, hands for this. So... All right. Um, I had a lot of reservations about One Piece live action show. I had a video on that. I've talked about it. Um, it uh, my reservations came into one major area. A lot of little concerns, but one major area, and it's this. And it's to me, it's um, this is kind of universal for animation. I don't think you need to convert animation to live action. I, I think it's it, animation is powerful enough on its own. I'm glad we're getting, by the way, a bunch of comic book uh, adaptations and movies. It's fine. But I don't think the comic books are less. And a lot of, uh, you know, and, and even when One Piece was coming out, I don't remember it was Variety or Entertainment Weekly or one of those magazines did the One Piece finally hits big time. That was the headline. And it's such an ignorant headline because One Piece has hit big time for years. It's one of the most recognizable brands around the world. It's, I mean, it's it sold hundreds of millions of copies. It is going to bring in more money and more strength than, than what Netflix does in a season. Absolutely. And I dislike the, you know, the way that people kind of treat animation as illegitimate, that it has to be converted to live action for it to be real. I get that same vibe from the Disney movies and everything else. So that's my, my biggest beef in all this is that animation is good enough. It's it's strong. It stands on its own. And I I, I just hate this trend of uh, yeah, but we'll make it live action. That's my own personal pet peeve. It's that's just how I feel about it. Um I like the show. I like the One Piece series. I was wrong. Uh, they did a good job of adapting it. Um, I think that the characters were by and large true. Um I, I don't have an issue with how it all, you know, unfolded. I, I in fact, I, I'm pleasantly uh, shocked and impressed that that's uh, that that's what they 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 wound up with. Um, I never would have imagined it that it would have actually been as as accurate as it was. Um, <laughs> I, I so. I still have one, I, you know, I still have that same, you know, issue about live action uh, films don't need to exist, you know, but I'm glad where they do well. I think the director did a good job. Uh, there were parts where I felt like I was watching, you know, I, I still have this vibe with a lot of these things. And this is in particular with a lot of the Netflix uh, manga adaptations. It feels at times like I'm watching Power Rangers level of budget for the special effects. You know, I thought Arlong looked weird. I, I just and and various characters. It just it when it was good, it was good, and when it looked bad, it looked overly green screened. It just looked strange. Now they did do some parts well. I thought Luffy, uh, by and large, looked good in a lot of cases, but there was stuff there that was just weird and 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 looked cheap. But in terms of the characterization, so to the to the mail writer, because I saw a couple people. Uh, repost this uh, meme or or uh, this this dialogue on on Twitter X that was uh, 
you know, this show is woke. And they pointed to things like, um, you know, uh, you know, a, a Nami doesn't steal. She's just written to be a perfect character. Well, her arc and what she did in the manga, in the in the Netflix show was the same as the manga. She was a thief. She tried to steal from, uh, you know, what is it, Shell City? When uh, I, I mean, she she was consistent with how she was in the in the comic in the manga. Uh, some of Nami's greedier aspects weren't as apparent in the beginning. Later, they they enhanced them. She's still there. She's still a thief, and she's a thief in this show too. Um. The, the comment of Luffy doesn't care about food. I'm sorry. I don't think, I mean, did you watch the show? I, I mean, my guess is you watched some of the first episode and bailed out. And that's just, uh, I, I'm, I mean, he, there's, there's entire episodes of him eating. He poisons himself, uh, because he's so hungry. He's talking about food. He's talking, I mean, th that is a consistent theme. In this, uh, in this thing, I, I mean, I, I don't get that one at all. And then the comment of uh, Zoro was simped to a girl. That was that was a direct lift from the manga. Direct. Uh, this this is that is accurate. You know, Zoro as a kid wanted to be the greatest swordsman. There was a girl uh, there who was, uh, you know, was better fighter than him. The girl was frustrated, saying, you know, a, a girl can beat a boy, but a woman can't beat a man. And is, is the line. And it's that basically the man's, you know, physical characteristics and other things are going to eventually give them an advantage that a woman's not going to be able to overcome. And that touched Zoro. And that line was that line was I, I mean, that 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 was in the manga. It was in the it was in the Netflix show. They. That's a, almost a direct translation. There were certainly some things that were different. Um, you know, the fight uh, that happened at uh, Baratie didn't happen the same way as a different fight. Um, there were there were plenty of differences. Um, they did, I guess, you could make the argument that uh, Nami's character was slightly more redeemable in the moment in the show because she clearly kind of betrays the crew to team up with Arlong because she's afraid for, uh, you know, for the crew's life. Whereas in the, in the manga, she kind of sneaks away and, uh, but you, you know, still get the sense that she's doing it to keep her people, you know, her friends out of trouble and, and just, uh, she feels trapped. So it, it, it paints her in a slightly better light short term. But again, I, I think, um, you know, if there's one character where they, they downgraded someone or uh, not downgraded, but they, you know, they definitely, um, didn't go all in with Sanji being constantly horny. Uh, but he's still, you know, uh, it puts the attention toward Nami and puts the attention toward women. He's still a ladies' man by far. You still see that there. Again, we, we a lot of these characters' behaviors enhance a lot as the series goes on. You know, you don't get a lot about Zoro be, having a horrible sense of direction early in the manga. You don't get a sense of uh, Sanji being just completely horny until a little bit later. You know, Robin comes along and BB and others, and it's just, you know, there's... There's differences that develop over time. Um, and, and hell, even Luffy gets more kind of maniacally crazy around food and other, you know, other shenanigans. But by and large, look, I, I prefer the manga. I prefer the anime for sure. There's a, you know, it, it's, it's very charming for me, this series. It, it means a lot. It's been, you know, something I've, I've liked and enjoyed for a long time. The Netflix show, but in no way is, is as good as it. Not, not, it, it's not. But you'd have to be very, uh, it's just very disingenuous to say it's awful. And particularly to say it's, uh, I mean, look, again, anybody can like anything. But it, it does a decent job of recreating the manga. It does not uh, radically change the characters. And, and honestly, I don't get the, you know, woke aspect here. I, I'm, I'm, I think that's reaching. That's, that's desperately trying to find something to pick at. Um, I, I mean, I, I feel like we're going to fast forward to, you know, Innie's lobby and some of the arcs uh, up ahead. And, you know, that you've got, you know, a, a woman who can transform people from man to woman kind of as a, as a character. And I, I can almost guarantee that's going to get like, ah, show is God woke. Again, that's in the that's in the manga that's there. 
So, you know, I, 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 you could complain about it, say, I don't like that story element or I don't like what they're doing there, but can't complain about it for not being authentic. And so, again, even though I would have rather seen the manga and the anime stand on their own, even though I, not, not necessarily rather, just I think they deserve the importance they have. Um, you know, hats off. The director did a good job. The, the director, you know, clearly there was a respect for the source material. You know, they did uh, push to get it done right and to, you know, be accurate. And at the end of the day, you know, that's that's all you can ask for. I mean, that's if, if you're going to do this, you know, be be accurate, pay respect to the original material. And and with all of the, you know, whether it was a PR campaign or not, I've seen some people, uh, you know, really set theory, you know, um, the actor who's who played Luffy uh, endlessly talked about his respect for Oda-san and, and the source material. And they, they had little trivia contests where the actors, uh, you know, were you know, answering trivia about the, the series. And yeah, were they coached by Netflix? Who knows? Was this all a PR stunt to say, no, 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 we respect it? Uh, maybe. But the show itself, that it did come through that the source material was respected. It didn't feel like a scam. It felt like they, you know, they tried to deliver what they promised. So I'm sorry you didn't like it. Um, and again, you're, lots of people are welcome to not like things for sure. And and sometimes things just hit you wrong. You may like the cart, you may like the anime, the cartoon. You may not like the live action. That's fine. It's your business. Uh, but you know, and you don't have to justify that dislike by saying, "Oh, it's not source accurate." It, it's pretty source accurate. It's a hell of a lot more source accurate than anything Marvel and DC have done in their movies, for sure. Um, you know, I I'll take it. So, um, curious what you think. People have watched this show. It's doing incredibly well. I think it broke a number of records uh, on Netflix and, and glad for it. It deserves it. And uh, hopefully this this leads to more prominence with One Piece and, and people uh, check that material out. You know, the, the creator is pretty prolific in terms of... Uh, being generous and, and helping other people out. And so I, I, uh, I wish all the luck in the world there. So anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below, like, and subscribe, of course. And thanks for listening.